if you're a real organic farm, you should have bee colonies. You think yes. that's a fact? Yeah, it's a fact. Hi guys, this is Angie Mead King from King Tower Farm and I wanted to discuss briefly what the word organic means to me and why it doesn't really mean that much here at the King Tower Farm. Now, let me explain. Organic, if you Google the definition, means pesticide free, genetically modified free, and then uh, fertilizer free or synthetic fertilizer free. But in reality, you know that plants can't really tell the difference between a natural or synthetic fertilizer. For them, a mineral is a mineral. And did you know that plants also need more than 13 minerals besides the NPK minerals that marketing uses? Now for me, the word organic is used too loosely and I feel like people should emphasize more on looking for farmers that are sustainably grown and then obviously locally produced and then chemical pesticide free. I think chemical pesticides are the worst in terms of uh, eating because they become bioavailable to us, the consumers. Now for me, the truest test of having an organic farm is having a bee colony. The bees don't lie to you. They are the scorecard for a farm's health in terms of pesticide free because if you use pesticides, you're gonna kill these guys. And today we're gonna check out our 20 European honeybee colonies these are new to the King Tower Farms. We have been growing these stingless bees, the local stingless bees. We went from like 300 colonies down to 50 over the Taal volcano incident. And then now we're back to like 315 bee colonies. It's been such a hard endeavor. This is one of the first things that I got into when I got into farming. I wanted to take care of the bees. And the bees basically taught me how to take care of the farm because if they don't have fruit trees or flowers, then they can't grow and survive as well. So today we have the bee team behind me setting up and then we're going to open the boxes and check on the production. Now, fun fact, did you know that in the European honeybees, or at least I think most of the bee boxes, they're almost all female. And if there's a male that goes in, they're actually kicked out. The wings are chewed off and kicked out. So basically the males are only there for mating season and then after that they are discarded and most of the bees or if not all the bees are in the boxes are all female bees serving the queen. Hello. Good morning! <laughs> okay lang. Always a pleasure to have you here. Uh, have you met Doctor? Uh? Ah okay. Doctor is this. Are we gonna get stung today? Maybe. <laughs> Is this the day? Let's hope we don't get stung today. This is my first hands-on experience with the Apis mellifera. And we're smoking them so that they calm down. Um, just like any bee, if they sting you, then they die. So I was explaining to the viewers that all the bees in here are female bees, right? Yes. And all the male bees are discarded. Discarded. And uh, we want to add some more uh, wax. Is this wax basically the what the 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 honeycomb or the honeycombs basically it's made out of wax. So they have their food stores. And was inserted originally looked like it. Yeah, last week. Ah, and you you can buy these. Yes. And then they add on it. They build yeah, up. They, they so build they up on pattern. it. Uh, so this was added just last week. So it's like a coloring book and they just teach them how to color. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking for the, uh, the... See, we have the larva, small ones. I'm always checking for the brood, brood development, because you always want to have all the cycles. You have, want to have the egg, the larva, and the pupa. What are these females doing? They're sticking their head inside the Because if you smoke, chamber. basically it's their nature to, you know, to, ha uh, uh, to eat. <laughs> to eat and ready to swarm. Ah. Ready to swarm. <laughs> so these are the sealed brood. Yeah. Sealed brood means they're ready to... They're, uh, they're in pupa, pupa Yeah, stage. they're in the pupa stage. Mm -hmm. What's the life cycle for our Apis mellifera? Good question. 21 days. Yeah. 21 days and then they're dead after yeah, 21 no, days? No, no, no. This cycle uh, from egg laying, so it takes three days to hatch and then to become adult until 25 days. So that's the life cycle. 
leave like about yeah three months as his lifespan. Three month lifespan, okay. But never mind. New eggs are laid every day. Yeah, what do you He's vibrating. Yeah. So there's a. She is teaching others where to locate the food source or the pollen source. Ah, okay. I don't understand. How is the vibration <laughs> teaching? <laughs> She's so vibrating. Dance, the other bees will see them dance. So it has something to do with the distance from the hive, the, the sun. She's the only one dancing though. <laughs> I think uh, she saw uh, some pollen source because uh, she has some pollen in her pollen basket. Mm. They're so cute. See, see, look at There's a pollen in her pollen basket. I see it. Her legs, <laughs> her yeah. legs have pollen. I think Doc's getting smoked out also. Yeah. <laughs> what was it? They're starting to seal. Did you see the I haven't seen The anything. white one is the wax, right? Yes. And then if, there's if honey the inside. Peeled up, they seal it with it. Yeah, they cap it. They cap it. So it's their food stores. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Have you seen the queen like that? No, I haven't seen the queen. But there are eggs. There are eggs. It's like the queen's right here, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so one more review for the queen. This is just a filler, that black one. That's the feeder. Ah, that's the feeder. And we need to feed. We need to feed. The feeders for sugar water? Yeah. Sugar. yeah. What are you holding, Doctor? Uh, this is pollen. We need to uh, give them pollen supplements. Is that literal bee pollen? Yeah, coming from your stingless <laughs> <laughs> We stole from them. Yeah. Rather than, uh, you know, buying like synthetic <laughs> food, well, this is a natural food. Uh, we just marked the queen so that... Uh, ah, you marked the, the queen. Marked? Not all it. Uh, How do you mark the queen? queen? <laughs> like with a <laughs> pencil <laughs> pen? <laughs> the two artists. Well, I know. There's the queen. Where? There, there, the there, there, there. Yeah. Before it was a big round. There, the green, green dot. It's just but she's stick. bigger on the yeah. trunk and also. Yeah. 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 Hello, queen. Okay, so let's get food. Now we need to feed the bees uh, okay. during this time. There are no flowers. Uh, this is called the dearth period. So uh, it's just uh, summer is the start of the bloom or like starts in December. So we need to feed the bees. We have to supplement. Mm. Yeah, Especially here, Doc. It's the season already of um, Amihan here. Uh -oh. It's starting to rain already. Uh -oh. So we ended up getting this from the stingless bees. Yeah, and since the stingless bees, sorry. We actually <laughs> don't harvest from our stingless bees because the whole game plan is to grow the colonies, which means yeah. don't touch the honey because that's their food source. Well, Just this is an exception. Except for this, yeah. <laughs> so, Doc, would you prioritize the European honeybees over the local stingless bees or? Oh, well, it depends. It depends. I mean, uh, actually, uh, for like pollination purposes, like mango, we need uh, the stingless bees. Um, but mellifera bees, uh, they pollinate certain plants. That... Certain that are not pollinated by stingless bees. Uh... Now this is cool. It, it is just that it's kind of very um, uh, what you, capital intensive. It's you know. Yes. So this is not for the small farmers or. Ah, oh, this is so cool. They're actually going straight for it. I wish I had a microscope lens to see them. So this is just a starter color. Okay. So uh, we expect the colony to grow with time and in a couple weeks. I have a stupid idea. <laughs> I want to let them lick. I want to get the bee on me. <laughs> Is that still pollen? No? 
and more halu 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 they're actually not as sensitive as the stingless bees because the stingless bees as soon as you come close to the box yep the, yeah they, they attack you. you and they bite you and this one as long as you're moving slowly you got smoke it has something to do that they know that if they sting you they die I like the stick just be they don't yeah they just I no can, I can bite, bite you because <laughs> I'm not gonna die. <laughs> Alright, go for it. Don't worry, I'm gonna smoke. <laughs> Calm down bees. Alright. So which one do I remove first? You first move the this one. The fray, the feeder frame. Just to give room, Just to you give know, room. for the movement of your frame. Okay, now you can use your hive tool to pry the frame free. Okay, next. That's so good. It feels heavy and full. Oh, that looks well done. Where are you, my queen? This one is... This one looks new. Is she there? On the other side. I have a dancing bee here. Ah, <laughs> sorry, they have a food source. There you go. And there's the queen. Yeah. So we're inserting a new tray. Why do you have to stack it close? Because it's how they are spaced in each other. I see the queen, she has a red dot. How did you even get a number on it? It says 57. <laughs> Seriously? How on earth? Wow. <laughs> You've been tagged. Right? It says 57. Yeah. <laughs> so we're looking for eggs. Yes. The if you can see the queen, we look for the eggs. Okay, because I saw the queen, I won't open the rest, nah? Yeah. yeah. There's the queen. So do I add another tray? So the first frame is normally their food. Yes. How in come? Nature. How come they stack it in that order? Oh, uh, actually, in nature they put the food outside because should there be like robbers or predator, they will go to the food and they will not attack them. So it's a strategy protection. Doc, in a day, how many eggs can the queen lay? 1,000 to 2,500. In a day? In a day. For the whole year, that's what she's doing? Yeah. Seems like. Are you serious? That's like a good... Yeah, yeah, granting we have enough forage resources. Busy as a bee, right? Oh, <laughs> oh this is stronger than the, than the others. So 1,000 to 2,000 eggs a day mm -mm. for three years. Pero ang productivity ng queen is only one year. Okay, still. Ano success rate? May mga duds pa or? Ah, uh, mayon siguro mga eighty percent ang success ang ano? Malaki ten. Malaki. Let's see. Di kayo magdagdag ng ano dito? Foundation. Isang frame of foundation. So that's once a week. Mm -hmm. I just inserted this one, no? Look at that, so strong. Here you can hear the buzzing. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, first is wood frame. Second is the. And then, what are the succeeding ones? Brood. When you say brood, it refers to young bees. Pag uh, egg and larva, unsealed brood, compupa sealed brood. One big tak tak. Do not see the queen. Yeah, well, I go again, uh, Angie, because food DNA, so they have. The first, the first food. Ah, hindi, may brood pala dito sa side. Okay. Ooh, this one's heavy. Oh, madaming broods. Oh, sige, let's add one. 
that one. I have one ready. Now. <laughs> Do it, and whack. <laughs> So, Doc, I was saying in my intro that if you're a real organic farm, you should have bee colonies. You think yes. that's a fact? Yeah, it's a fact. No, because it, your farm can for every bees can further increase uh, the diversity of your farm. And Bio obviously, if we're spraying, the bees will die, right? Yeah. So that's a good that's a good way. So instead of submitting your produce or application to go organic just take care of bees and that's a good yeah. way to because tell bees will die anyway if uh, there are pesticides so and the fact that our yeah. colonies are growing strong means yeah. that we're doing a good job yeah. <laughs> wiggle 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 this bee mind. won't leave me anymore i think i have a new pet hope you guys learned something new from this episode and i'll see you guys again soon Stay busy. Peace. <laughs> so our queen is walking around. Hopefully she'll lay an egg for us right now. Make way for your queen. Make way for your queen. Yeah, she's still looking for her. It's a good treat for a queen, eh? Do you know that you're not allergic to the venom of the... Yeah, <laughs> just like now. It, it, it just hurts. But later on, I see. Yeah, I you got stung? Yeah, but it's okay. I welcome some stings. So I have some stowaways. Don't want to leave my hand. Don't know what I'm going to do with you guys. One of them is weak already. 